Check us out. All right. We are now live on Wade's Ventures YouTube channel. Not only is this a live show, but this is the last live show until I get back from Vegas, guys. So this is going to be a good one. I've got an amazing guest with us tonight. Um, and I would love to show this family off. But before we do, let's say hello to some people in chat. All right, so we have Flippin' Daily in the house. Mary, what's going on? We have Closet, you're welcome in. Uh, let's see, let me see. There's a lot of conversation here. Flip, hip flipping mama's in the house. We're gonna be hanging out in Vegas. Amy, what is going on? What is going on, guys? Let me approve a couple comments while I'm at it. Uh, we have Key Lime Kisses. I promise I didn't block you this time, Key Lime. Uh, <laughs> we have Rita, what is going on? Let me go all the way to the front. Ten of Hearts, what's going on? Liquidation Ohio, you must be in two chats, my man. And Pac-Man, what is going on, guys? So welcome in to Wade's Ventures YouTube channel, guys. We have Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. We showcase really cool reseller tents. And tonight we have a great family. And I'm going to go ahead and let them introduce all three of them themselves. What's going on, guys? My name is Will. Jenny. And we are Thrifty Nomad. This is little Lorenzo. Uh, we've been reselling on eBay, Macari, and Poshmark since January, about six months now. So we are fresh to the whole reselling game. Uh, but in these six months, we have learned so much, gathered so much information. So we soak it up like sponges um, and then just produce. And it's been going really well for us. I quit my job in March, March 8th to be exact, a full-time job uh, to do this resell thing. And um, I don't, I don't ever want to look back. I just no. want to move forward. Nothing mm -hmm. but positive vibes and selling stuff online wow. and locally too. Yeah, we just started locally. <laughs> so guys, um, as you know, I creep a lot of you guys on Instagram. Like I, in fact, if I turned off Instagram, I'd be like fifty percent more productive. I think. But <laughs> these guys, these guys are one of my addic. Okay, so everybody, everybody goes to bed, right? And there's like five to 10 Instagram accounts. They have to see their Insta stories before they go to bed, you know, to see what's going on. And these are one of the, one of the 10 that I had to see because they have really cool stories. Always going in estate sales, which I think is fantastic. We'll get into that later into the show. But uh, tell me what made you jump full time into reselling? Like, tell me the moment. Well, first, tell me the moment that you knew or, you know, decided to go sell on eBay because, you know, eBay seems like an old, old you know, platform, and, and a lot of new people are jumping on going full time. So, kind of tell me like the steps and the process to go full time. I'm gonna take you a little bit back. So, um, I've I've had a bunch of really good jobs. I've never been happy. I've never gotten up and I'm like, yay, let's go to work. And um, we were living in California. We we were trying to find a side hustle, just cash that we can, you know, just cash that we can get and uh, we were looking on youtube and we found pete you were just talking about pete the craigslist hunter and he was talking about dumpster diving so we were like jenny was like oh, we should yeah try and we were that. pretty open to an adventurous anything that might bring us some money you know we'll give it a try at least once so she's really good at like mapping out all the areas so she literally set up a map list from our house to all the dumpsters in the area like, like a circle route yes a circle route and yeah. um Literally, we hit up a like a Big Lots Target. They shared a trash can, and uh, we found over 200 pairs of brand new with tags, kids' shoes, little clogs, right? Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man. Like yeah, it felt like a sign. And we just were pulling these bags out, and inside these bags were just brand new shoes. And we were just stoked. And um, it was our first time, so we, we didn't even know. I sold on eBay like in 2014. I've sold some video games and stuff. But it didn't even cross my mind. So I threw them up on OfferUp, and we were selling a pair at a time. Mm -hmm. We sold about 10, 15 pairs, and then sold the whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, we sold the whole lot and moved to Vegas. So we are actually going to go over there for another job that I was going to go do. And we continued diving over there. But over there, we weren't as lucky uh, for reselling stuff. We found stuff for ourselves. Yeah. Um, and then I actually have a nephew who's a very successful reseller as well, and he's always like, you should start selling online. You should start selling online. And one day, um, we went to a thrift store and picked up some stuff and threw it on there. And you know, we haven't looked back. We haven't looked back. <laughs> I will try to pull that up. Actually, I seen that that photo that you did, and it is intense. It is intense. I can't believe somebody threw all these away. Is this it? Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's it was, incredible. 
And that's some of them already sold. And at that point, that was a lot. We're trying to sell the whole lot in one shot. Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. I So first and foremost, I have a little bit of an addiction of, well, not an addiction yet because I haven't done it, but I want a dumpster dive. The problem is, guys, you probably won't see me for a few years because they're like really strict here in Oregon. They'll slap the cuffs on and all that good stuff here. Um, but I do want a dumpster dive. I think that'd be amazing. Um, and that's pretty lucky your first time to get a haul like that. That's incredible. And the thing is, people look at dumpster diving like, oh, it's gross, it's gross. But these places, these retail places, like there's probably one or two bags that has their trash in your personal trash. And the rest of the stuff, if they don't have a compact compactor, everything's being thrown in these yeah. bags, you know? You're choosing so, which ones to look into. And obviously yeah. you're not going to choose a dumpster that has food in it. Yeah, not behind a restaurant, obviously. So yeah. and it's, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty fun. Now we just do it for bubble wrap, yeah. um, for styrofoam when I'm sending out VCRs and stuff. We love going for that. And we do that during the day and stuff. It's fun. So um, do you uh, do you guys get, I mean, do you just jump in there? Or do you have like tongs or, or how does it work? Give us, give us a gear. We had yeah. gear. We had headlamps. We, we took with crates. a crate so we could stand up, up. Gloves, flashlights, sticks. We were um, all black. A stick so we could pull things out. I have climbed into a few dumpsters because I have seen stuff that I know is gold. I mean, one person's trash is definitely another person's treasure, and that is more than key when it comes to this kind of situation. Oh my gosh, where did you find her? She's right, right. <laughs> I'm a lucky man, man. I really am. Man, man. Oh, man. That's incredible. I, you know what? She reminds me a lot like Ashley because I think Ashley would dive in if she saw something awesome too. Like, um, you gotta, you gotta have supportive, supportive people around you to be successful. It is amazing. So, okay. So now, now you're full time. By the way, I know that you moved into a new place. How are you guys liking your new place? Do you guys have a lot of room in there to to resell? Yeah, um, we, we love it. Uh, we actually just a couple of days ago, last weekend was it? It's so hot over here. It was like 114 or something. And I guess nobody wanted to sell stuff at yard sale, so they were just giving it away. And I'm just like, well, the heat's it's a benefit. It's yeah. benefiting us. So we actually we love it. We love it. And we're still centrally located. Um, and we could we're we're an hour away from her mom's house. You know, so I, it's not. I too think bad. one thing that we really need to say too is that um, the dedication we have into this is so big. And we actually turned our master bedroom into our office and we're taking the side bedroom yeah. as our own bedroom. Yeah, we have so, a lot of inventory. We needed a room to take pictures. Yeah. We lost the, we have a little tiny patio, yeah. uh, but at, we were staying. So we went to, we were living in Vegas and uh, we moved back to California. We were there for a year for work. Once I quit, I was like, what's the point? Mm -hmm. Let's come back to Cali. And uh, we stayed three months at our mom's house. And um, they, were just, bed, they so. were in shock. They were in shock that we were just like, like you go get a job, go get this. I'm just like, I, I'm oh, we're, we're hustling. Where there's a will, there's a way. Because even though we were on pull-out couches and we didn't really have like any designated space, we really pushed it. I mean, our first three months, we made it to 10K and we were just on it. We were hard working. Like every minute we had, we were either sourcing or photographing or listing or prepping or doing whatever it is else. Because I mean, I'm sure a lot of you either know it or you're going to know it. <laughs> So I, this is going to be a fun interview because I have a lot of questions for you guys. I think it's going to help out the audience a lot. So first and foremost, like you have two kiddos. Let's get into the personal stuff. Then we'll get into reselling. So tell me how, okay. So I, I think of you guys, when I think of you guys, I think of you guys as state sell buyers. I had no idea that you dumpster dive. And I think that's really cool. Um, and so I, I kind of want to know like first, on the personal side, how does the two kiddos help you guys? Because I see them all the time. Like when they go up, do you guys feel like you get better deals having those two little guys around? Or tell me what role they play. He's trained. He's trained already. Like Baby, if he come sees, here. <laughs> come here. Watch one. Come here. We train him come to here. ask for prices because they look at this cute little boy and they're like, 50 cents for you. We're like, oh, man, that's what, a rush game. You know, like. <laughs> what do you like to do in the mornings when we go? Where do we go? Um, um, yard sales. Yard sales? <laughs> and when you find something you like, what do you say? Um, toy. No, what do you tell them when you find something? I pay. You pay for it? You ask them how much? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and usually you say, <laughs> is this a quarter? Oh, man. He's We've good. bought a lot of good He's stuff good. at a quarter and sold it for 50, 60 yeah. bucks. Um, it's awesome. It's yeah. awesome. That is incredible. And now you guys have another uh, another little one too, right? Yes. Bigger brother. Uh, 
how does how does he like because i i always see you guys as a family which me and ashley do that we're bringing the two little ones now way smaller but still fun how does uh, how does he like the garage selling and, and state sales and all that with you guys? To be honest with you, he's not a big fan. He's not a big fan. He's a gamer though. He likes to sit and play his video games. So, he wants to make his own YouTube channel. Yeah. But for gaming, so what well, motivates him is I'm like Buffalo. I just saw an Xbox there. Let's go. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he's excited. You know. I, and he's he's a big reader too, so yeah. we score a lot of books for him. Yeah, he just started so, reading like he's starting really to well. Get into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so real quick. Um, uh, after you get done with this show, if he's a gamer and he wants to start his own YouTube up, those channels do amazing. Um, and you guys need to download what's called Streamlabs. Streamlabs. And uh, it, that way he can stream and, and it will stream the screen and it has animation stuff while he plays. So do that because that would be, that would crush it. I, I, um, it's fun. Isn't it, isn't it amazing you can wake up with each other and as a family, with one business, one goal in mind, and hustle out there. Isn't that crazy? It's amazing. It really is. Yeah, and you're right. We do. We love estate sales. I think that's our favorite. And there's times when, you know, I'll leave Lorenzo with my mom, and we'll go to a, an estate sale. We don't get lucky. No. It's like we have to take the kiddos. Like, when yeah. we take the kiddos. No, 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 I'm saying we'll go, like, really early. Oh, like, yeah. We'll, that will motivate us as a family. And I'll tell my, you know, I'll tell the boys, I'm saying, you know, we're gonna you know, we're gonna find you some gold. We'll find you some good stuff because sometimes there's those safe cells that you really can't take the kids yeah. to. It can get a little bit overwhelming them. for them. Oh, you want to tell them something? But um, Sorry. we <laughs> always make it like a family them. thing. It's 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 definitely a work in progress. Okay, sorry. Go. What, what do you want to tell? Them? Hey. Hey. Don't get them toys sometimes. They do. There you go. Nice. Sometimes we try to good. prevent tantrums as best as we can by being very obvious and straightforward. Sometimes you get toys and sometimes you don't have yeah. <laughs> yeah. So guys, this is this is exactly what I said. Everybody should start YouTube's up. I, I put their link in the description. They just moved. Hopefully you guys get going on this because you guys are going to be a hit. Subscribe to their YouTube channel. Let me know what number you are so I can shout you out. Uh, but guys, I'm always preaching this. Like start a YouTube not just for reselling but for the family. So when they uh, when they get older, they can go back and see them as a family crushing it. Um, so let me real quick before we get back into this, like I appreciate you guys because I think you're the only Instagram account that I follow that I get like live footage of the estate sale. Um, you guys are like stealthy about it too. I don't know what you're doing, but you're pretty stealthy about getting the footage. Uh, what what is your uh, Instagram for everybody that's watching? It's at Thrifting Nomads altogether. Okay. Um, so, okay, so let's get in. So full-time, we know what state. You're in California. By the way, I went to Fullerton High School. I remember that. You were, you were talking about another video. We're, we're always in Fullerton. We actually just found an amazing thrift store in Fullerton. Nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell me, like, tell me the day in the life of you guys. Like, let's start back to kind of like, is there days that you source, days that you list? Um, and then also, um, maybe even go a little bit further back and tell me like, how are you finding these estate sales? Cool. Um, well, yeah. So the way it works out are mostly Thursday to Sunday are like our really busy days because, uh, the biggest estate sales, sometimes they still start on Wednesdays, even Tuesdays, but, um, Monday through Tuesday, we're pretty much retail arbitrage or listing as much as possible. Yeah. Um, and then when we really get nitty gritty is Thursdays, uh, Thursday mornings, Friday mornings. And then, of course, Saturday. Sundays is more of a hit or miss. Mm -hmm. um, we like to, you know, family time Sundays, and then I'll list. I'll stay up and I'll list mm -hmm. um, on Sunday afternoons and stuff. Our auctions go live every Sunday. We love doing that religiously. It works for us. So that's a good tip if, if you guys are, you know, loving auctions or trying to figure out a way to boost your auction. Sundays have always been really good. A lot of people, you know, they have the whole week to look, and that's always worked really well. So that's a good question. Now, do you guys have roles? Like, does she do the pictures and you list? Or, or do you guys just kind of mesh in and do it all together? We, we mix it in all together. Uh, she's been running the Poshmark. Now we're kind of cross-posting uh, pretty much everything. We'll have all three windows up. Uh, but she, she's she been running the Poshmark. I've been doing the Macari, and then we're both sharing the eBay responsibility. We actually just got on Amazon as well. We have not sent our first FBA. Uh, but we are we we already signed up and we've been scanning like crazy. We're needed everywhere. It's a start, you know. We know it's baby steps. It takes is, time. 
it, you guys like lose track of days sometimes. Like I, I'm like, is it a Tuesday, Wednesday? I don't know. Like when you're full time reselling, you just kind of lose track. Of yeah. The days. yeah, we lose track of a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, usually we'll spend like our Mondays, Tuesdays doing a lot of the bulk of the work. You know, inventory checking, listing, photographing. Well, photographing now, we just actually got a really nice light set and photo set. So we'll post it on Instagram yeah. so you can see it. We did a whole nice set. So now we're not limited to just photographing in the daytime and in the morning because we're using a lot of natural light, but now we can actually photograph at night, which opens it a lot more for us. So I think it's um it's really cool that you guys are on multiple platforms. Like if you're full time, I think that you need to be on three or more platforms. And um you know, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. I I won't go too in depth into it, but you just never know. Like I think eBay will be here for a while. Uh, but they did just lay off a bunch of people. Who knows? Like they're gonna be here for years and years to come. But you just can't put all your eggs in one basket. I think that's cool that you're on Posh what's your Poshmore closet name, by the way? Thirty Nomads as well. That is there you go. Keep it all the same, make it easy. Uh, yeah. Um and then you're on are you on Macari too, you said? Yes, Thrifty Nomads as well. Oh, no, no, you know, I'm so sorry. Um, I am so sorry. So we had changed that. Yeah, we're, we're uh, e-vendables on Poshmark. We did like this whole little cool logo and it has our son. So we did, we're did. we e-vendables um, and then um, that's on Poshmark and Macquarie as well. Nice. Now, what is your, like, what is her parents and what does your parents think of you guys going full time? <laughs> she walked away. This is perfect. Um, so her parents are advocates, big believers on um, – Full time, work for somebody, retire, and then vacation kind of thing. Um, I've never been, my dad owned a business for 39 years in East LA, a stereo installation shop. I've been around entrepreneurship my whole entire life. I pretty much grew up there. And um, it's a whole different mindset with my side of the family. My mom sends me pictures and she's like, what do you think about this? You think you can sell this? Like dolls, and she lives in Florida. So it's like, it, it, it's a different kind of thing. But those three months we spent at her mom's house, she got to see firsthand what it really is. Like we were hustling. There's no tomorrow. There's a different respect for it now from her mom. I see that. And she's actually come around and she'll be like, Hey, I found the thrift store for you guys. Yeah. So I think she brought you Lulu last time. Mm -hmm. So there, there's some, there's some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, at first it was a little, a little like, Hey, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you not clocking in, clocking out kind of thing? You should be gone for eight hours, you know? There's yeah. people in the family that are like, but what's your real job? Yeah. What do you really do? What do you really do? You know what? <laughs> Nothing. We just we, don't, we, we don't, don't have a real job. <laughs> we don't work. We don't wake up at the crack of dawn, go to sleep, you know, after kids, you know. Uh, you guys, like, you get that glazed look when you say that you saw on eBay, right? Oh, uh, all the time. So that now, unless it's somebody like that, I know I can, like, kind of talk to them about it. I'm just like, I saw on Amazon. Yeah. 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 We have an online store. Yeah. And even then I get a glazed look because they're like, what? Because they think Amazon's like one company, not actual individual people. So it's crazy. Um all right. So non-reselling related, who cooks in the house? Like you guys are busy all the time. Like who does the who does that? We split it up, but so what's really cool is that we just moved to Riverside and moved next door to my best friend. Yeah. Uh so he's actually come by, he's vegan and he's cooks, he's like it's amazing. I got to cook for you. And he's been cooking some stuff for us. So we've been here two weeks, Wade. I think we probably cooked together about four or five meals and he's cooked the rest. Yeah. So it's <laughs> pretty awesome. But we're working. I, in, we're working in uh, definitely. I, I before was like on meal prep. Yeah. When I was working a full time job, I would have my, you know, I should meal prep my meals for me and stuff like that. So yeah, we're you, slowly working it back yeah. in once now that we're settling in. When you think of life, it's not necessarily an equal balance, but more of a shift, a constant shift to make, you know, one work versus, you know, when the other work. I was going to see if I can pull it up. It looks like it was one of your Insta stories because he can cook some food. Wow. <laughs> I was looking at that. And I was like, who is that guy? I, I thought it was possibly like a, a brother or something. I was like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, you're in Oregon. What is going on, mom? Thank you so much for the super chat. 20 bucks. By the way, that's the biggest one that I have received thus far in the last two weeks. So awesome. special place in my heart. Yeah, and we're going to meet in Vegas. She's going to Vegas. She actually is here in Portland, was a nurse, I believe, and going full-time just like you guys right around the same time. Super excited to meet you in Vegas, and uh, I will return the favor with a few drinks, I promise you. I'm trying to get everybody to go to the ice bar, guys. What do you think? Have you been to the ice bar in Vegas? 
No, no wait, you know what? So. We're like, right now, we're like, not, we're, we're, so what we did was we set a goal to go to eBay Open. By the time we reached the goal, they were sold out. Yeah. So we are 95% sure that his mom, can, um, her mom could watch the kiddos. Um, and we're going to go over there for um, daily refinements meetup on Sunday. Saturday? A Saturday. Okay. Friday. Saturday. Saturday, um, I believe. Yeah, at the charity event one. So we're, we're really shooting for that. I'd love to meet everybody. That'd be awesome. Yeah, Chris Chris is amazing. Like I said last video, he's got a special place in my heart. He's the one that kind of kind of taught me and, and told me how to, uh, you know, social media and try to get on YouTube and Instagram. So really, really cool guy. And that's going to be an awesome event, by the way. Um, and you guys aren't that far. Like, you're only, what, three hours? Yeah. We're about three, three and a half hours. Okay. So, okay, so I think we're getting the picture now, guys. And by the way, if you have questions in chat, please put it in chat. Um, I'm wondering if I missed some people. By the way, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. I can't say that enough. Like, we are. I'm going to have to get you some drinks in Vegas. Let's see. Let me scroll up here. Misty number eight, what's going on? We have Rita number four, Nina number nine, Stitch Witch number 10, 10 Hearts number 11. So guys, thank you so much for subscribing. I can't wait to do their first video. I actually just took a picture and I was their first subscriber. I had to take a picture. Uh, let me let me just, uh, yeah, just just for the record, okay guys, when they, when they get big, I was their first subscriber. Um, all right. So I think we're getting the picture now, guys. Now, I wanted to ask you, since you guys do a lot of estate sales, I kind of wanted to ask you like a few questions regarding that because I think a lot of people, it may help. So is there any negotiation? The first question is, is, do you have any like negotiating tactics that you use to purchase items at estate sales? Yeah. <laughs> so we have a big black bag. It's <laughs> Instrument bag that we actually got on the same it's, cell. It's probably the size of Lorenzo. Yeah, probably it's a little huge. bit bigger than Lorenzo, to be honest with you. What we do a lot of times is we'll fill up that bag, um, not caring what the price is. We just put it in there. And um, mm. most of the time, they don't really want to go through the whole bag. Yeah. Um, they'll give me one set price. You know, that works out for us very well. Blocks. That works out for us very well, um, but yes, there is there. Sometimes there is a on um, um, day one of the estate sales. Uh, they're, they're a little more firm. Yeah, they're firm on their pricing. But this, um, but it is key though to be friendly when you go to estate sales. Friends. Estate sales are usually run by either families or companies that you know they're really close knit. They do this. They go into a home and they they have to deal with you know we talk to them sometimes and they're there for two weeks. You know, living prepping, in that home, prepping, prepping it. cleaning. So they want to feel appreciated. So even if they're firm on a price, if you talk with them and you acknowledge all the work they're putting into it, they'll be really cool with you. Yeah. That's, that's and you'll see them thing. again because these companies pop up all the time. Yeah, the and thing. they're they're the same companies. And you'll see them again. And I know people by name now, Roger and I. Hey, Roger. And we already know, you know, like he's like, the first time we met one of the guys, he's like, write me a really good Yelp review. Like, and I got yeah. it. And he's got us every yeah. single time. So, so it's like really make friends, make friends so important. Fill that bag up, talk to them, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, talk to them while they're going through the items. Just, you know, it's it's all about, you know, leverage and, and how you talk and how, yeah, and how you work it. Okay, so first and foremost, I think I got two nuggets there. Um, the first nugget is the bag. I haven't heard that yet, and I think that's really cool. So you go up that big bag, you kind of fill it up because you, you want the stuff, and that almost is better than going with like a handful of stuff because they can physically see everything or a bag they have to go through it, right? Mm -hmm. Did you ever get like them like, oh, just, you know, hundred bucks for everything in the back? All, All the time. time. All, All the time. time. It's the best. That's, that's when it's the best. We do get people who will pull everything out one by one. Yeah. And then after they give us a price, we'll be like, well. That's when we start negotiating. Yeah, that, uh, but. But yeah, when we know we have gold in there and they're like 50 bucks, here you go, there's your 50. I won't even fight them on it because I already know like there's an item here that I made my money back and some you know so but yes there's a lot of time to pull them out we'll, we'll negotiate definitely do you guys split up split up and conquer or do you guys go together within the same area yeah i mean i have things that i'm really drawn to that i'm really knowledgeable about and he has things that he's really drawn to and knowledgeable about so we just kind of gear towards the rooms kind of get a feel and then i'll go into a room after he does and i'll be like you totally missed this, you didn't <laughs> see this. and he'll be like well you didn't see this in this yeah. room and i'm like okay well that all the time. Sense. yeah definitely. how do you guys stay so positive like i man you guys i tell you what 
you guys have a great relationship because I can I get a good feel of people and you guys just enjoy what you're doing. I you gotta you gotta correct me if I'm wrong, but you gotta enjoy this full full time reselling gig or you're not gonna you're not gonna want to do it because there's a listing. I mean it's work, right? It comes with anything in life. Anything that you wanna make your life, you need to enjoy it in order for it to succeed. And so we've kind of well, Will's worked a lot of different jobs and every job he kind of loved one little piece about it didn't like the rest of it. And I, you know, he, I was very fortunate enough to stay home with Lorenzo for the first three years of his life. And I hated having him come home so miserable about his work. And I said, you know what? I said, you're really good at talking. You're really good at selling. I was like, let's figure out a way that you can utilize those two without having to put up with the, with the BS of everything else. And when, you know, when it comes to like office jobs that some people, I mean, it's not for everybody. Not knocking it. Some people are amazing at office jobs. I'm good at office jobs, but I really enjoy working with him. I really enjoy being with him. And I don't mind waking yeah. up at five in the morning. Like if I'm looking Money is motivation. Yeah, it's like <laughs> we're looking at the estate sale app and we're like, oh, we've camped out way, yeah. like, we've stayed, we've gone at twelve at night to put our marker down to be the first mm -hmm. one in line. Like and we've wow. camped out in front of an estate sale. Mm -hmm. So dedication. <laughs> That is dedication, especially when you have little ones, you know? Um, you can't yeah. battle with the kiddos, but the kiddos definitely not. Yeah. Uh, I, okay, how did you guys meet, by the way? I, I, I guess we didn't get this out of the way. Like, I'm curious. So I had a, um, I used to have a nonprofit clothing company. We would do blanket drives for the homeless. We would do soup kitchens. Um, I would, my, my best friend that I was telling you was my neighbor, showed me Photoshop and we started designing shirts. Mm -hmm. And I did, I started doing shows. I started doing shows and selling my merchandise and then doing these blanket drives. And she came and to I one worked, of my shows. Yeah. Well, I worked in education and I was visiting a cousin who was trying to do like little, uh, little trinkets, little trinkets and stuff, stuff like that. And she was actually vending at the same place he was. And I started talking to him because I was, I had co-founded a group at the high school I was working at for troubled youth. And it was, um like about like graffiti and how to make it into art and try to get those kids into something in the, you know during lunch and after school that would motivate them to do well in school where they could go and he started talking about how he would love to you know make sure collab I'm like let's collab yeah let's do something and uh we ended up really collabing yeah we ended up hitting it off <laughs> we hit it off and yeah and we, we've been at it here we are, <laughs> here we are. We are. pretty much inseparable things. oh man i you know what He's a good salesman, and you, I, I tell you, like, it's incredible. It's it's funny to see how people meet, and I think that's really cool. It was meant to be. Um, and do you guys do you guys have your alarm clock with the cha ching sound? By the way, oh my gosh, yeah, that's, that's that's my thing. Yeah, that is fun. That's when night mode turns off and it starts going off, it's a good sign. Mm -hmm. I, I I always tell people, I'm like, hey, the one sound that I have no problem hearing throughout the night is the cha ching. Right. right? Um, all right. So I, I take feedback on my show and everybody that joined late would love a 15 to 30 second just recap of who you guys are, if you don't mind. Do you mind doing that for me? Yeah, definitely. Um, full time resellers started in January 2018. Uh, we're a husband and wife team. We're killing it. We do estate sales, retail arbitrage thrifting um we're gonna start getting into storage units so wait i'm gonna need your help on that we did a first order of bulk a while back we're yeah. looking at doing that too auctions and stuff but yeah that's what we've been doing we're on ebay we're on macari we're on poshmark and we just started doing amazon and we're going to be sending out fda shipment of books pretty soon mm -hmm. so um you know by the way you're in a great area for um there's there's a there's a reseller um channel out there called the resale killers and they do they're in san diego and they do a lot of um, store returns, bulk buying. I mean, California in that area is really good for that. So um, a lot of merchandise that you can buy, especially like, what what is that street? There's like, some, like it's like five or six blocks down LA where you can buy like anything you want. It's like a flea market 24 seven every, every The alleys, yeah. Um, it's, um, what's that exact street? Well, the fashion district's on. Fashion um, district. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's one of them. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I miss California. LA doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah. Much. Yeah. Okay, so do you guys ever go to the bins, thrift store, stuff like that? Not. She has. I have. When we she first has. started off. Um, um, I have not gone. 
we're, we're going to go and we're actually going to make a video about it too. Yeah. First time at the bins. <laughs> I've already got it saved. Saying. I don't know if you guys know, but on Yelp, you can save the addresses into like a collection. So I've got all my Goodwill bins ready to go. <laughs> um, we're just kind of planning a day. It's, it's been a crazy two weeks when we first moved in here. So. Really cool. Yeah. By the way, guys, I've been creeping on their Instagram for a while trying to get them on here, but be respectful because I knew they were moving, but I'm so glad you're on here now. And uh, it's it's been, I think, I really hope you guys do the YouTube stuff. You guys are going to crush it. and you got such an amazing family, cool journey. And we, I learned a lot from you guys already, so I'm, I'm really curious to see what you guys can. Oh, we have another question, by the way. A question, has anyone been listening and working quietly and the cha-ching goes off and you jump out of your skin? Oh, sometimes I jump so high from shock. Guys, I've, uh, I remember a lot of moments that, um, you know, I was like, man, today's slow. And then all of a sudden you hear that sound and it just perks you up and you're ready to work again. You know, yeah. uh, there's nothing more motivating than that sound. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like I said, if you have a spouse or a family member that's not on board, just download the PayPal app on their phone. And once they hear the, the money start coming in, they're going to be happy and they're going to want to support you. Um, but in this case, obviously you guys are all in, but, uh, all right. So what are you guys doing to prepare for Q4? Ooh. We're buying a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're buying and researching a lot. We're researching a lot, you know, but we're definitely buying a lot. Um, we're going to go to um, a place where they do auctions um, mm -hmm. for big pallets. So I want to see, I want to see possibly get a big pallet. But yeah, right now buying, um, RA is doing really good for us. So we're trying to pick up as much tags as we can. Yeah, and, uh, believe it or not, up. believe it or not, the state sale. Hold on, hold on one second, thank you. I don't care what okay. Kids. <laughs> what? Hey. what? Hey, I got a new bed. <laughs> you got a new bed. Got a new bed. Oh, nice, nice. Is it a bunk bed? Definitely not a bunk bed. No, this kid is too adventurous for <laughs> Yeah, we just got, we're going to go to the hospital if he gets a bunk bed. Yeah, his name should be Lorenzo Evil Knievel. <laughs> Gosh, I, what it? Yeah, I don't know. I I think it's so cool that you guys are doing this as a family, and and isn't it more flexible now that you're not working for a big corporate job or you know somewhere else? You can kind of do what you want when you want. You know, it's incredible. Um, but I was saying, estate sales, you can find new products that are that go really well. We found resellers that. Uh, yeah, we found people. We found the remember that guy we went to. We got so much stuff, and all his stuff he had um, invoices, stuff that was sent out, never sent out, and just brand new with tags, boxes, brand new box. So there's times where you know these people in the estate sales they pass away or whatever, and they used to be resellers. Yeah, you know, that's back a lot of stuff. You, estate sales have the widest variety of items that you can find. Yeah, I mean, we, I'm, estate sales also are not just for people who pass away, but people who are moving. We came up on an estate sale once, brand new boxes of labels. Everything. Huge boxes. Everything in there was brand new. Camera, the Game Boy. It was good stuff. We camped out for that one for sure. Yeah. It's worth, but that's Q4. That's, we, we keep in mind, we have certain things that we realize are going to be perfect for Q4. And then we have, we'll, you know, we'll press them a little bit higher on eBay. If they sell, awesome. But if they don't, we already know that they'll still be perfect for Q4. So are you, do you have any plans for employees or maybe an assistant down the road? That was a question from my amazing app. I think about that quite a bit. Um, yes. Oh my gosh. That would be amazing to have someone help us. Um, we're, we're not there yet. Um, but yes, we definitely, my, my buddy was actually saying you should get like someone to enter, you know, and kind of show them the ropes and, and they can help you list. And I think we're still, you know, so young though in this whole journey that we're still trying to master. And there's really, it's too difficult to try and master something and show what you already know at the same time. So I think once we have a certain area mastered, then we'll possibly say, okay, you know what? Now that we know what we need to do, let's get somebody for this specific thing that we're doing that we know how, and we'll work from there. So you guys did a, a story recently and you said that it was hot, 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 but you were still out there crushing it. Are you finding that when it's really, really hot that you guys do better? Because nobody else, like not a lot of other people want to be out there. Yes. Yeah, um, a lot of times around 2 or 3 o'clock, they're closing up yard sales. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so hot. Around 11 o'clock, people were trying to put their stuff away. 11. And they were just like, take it. Take yeah. it here, free. And we got 
so mm -hmm. much stuff um, mm -hmm. for free. And I've checked comp on some of the stuff and I'm like, wow, like, I can't believe. Yeah, they, do, just, they don't want to have more work to have to put away because at that point it's already getting hotter. It's not going to get any cooler. Yeah. Or so, everything for a dollar. I love the everything for a dollar sales. Dollar, so just dollar. take it. Everything's a dollar. Yeah. A dollar, a dollar. I'm like, cool. We'll mm -hmm. take it. We'll take it all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Stitch Witch, did you send those um, packages to the P.O. Box? Uh, let me know because we haven't been to the P.O. Box in a while. Um, those of you who don't know, if you do, I get amazing postcards from you guys. My amazing admin sent me some hats that I wore yesterday. Um, so I do have a P.O. Box down below for that. So let me know, Stitch. Um, all right. So what, what do you have any crazy stories at, at any, um, estate sales or anything so far via reselling? Like I, I feel like estate sales and I don't do a ton of them right now, but it's pretty like, you know, you're going to find a lot of other resellers there. Like that try to cut in line before you like any kind of weird stories that you can tell. Um, well, we run across a lot of a lot of resellers. Some of them. Okay, I'll go check right now. Uh, you finish. The yeah, we. There's, <laughs> honestly, every time we go to a safe sale, it's a whole different scenario. Um, I remember when we first started, we would come when we were really super discouraged at first because there was 60 to 70 people at these estate sales, and we were just going for like poly pockets, you know, and so was everybody else. Uh, but yeah, we've seen some, we've seen some really crazy lines and stuff like that, but nothing too, too crazy. I see people get mad or fight over a certain item, stuff like that. We kind of keep to ourselves. We're pretty positive and we try not to, you know, get in the mix with all that yeah, stuff. I was wondering too, cause I, I do know that in your area, you're going to get a lot of, a lot of people and um, I, you know, just like starting a YouTube channel up, it could be a little bit intimidating and that's the same way that I feel with Steve sales. So. I was wondering, kind of like, what would you say to somebody that was just getting into state sales? Maybe a couple of tips or tricks for them, um, you know, to, to be a little bit more successful if there's a lot of people. So, um, <laughs> if there's a lot of people there, um, grab things and don't put it down to check. Yeah, Hold it in your hand. Time. There's been a lot of times when he sees something and he'll grab it and he'll look at it and he'll say, oh, let me look it up. He'll put it down, and before he even gets a chance to do anything else, somebody will scoop it up. So make sure if you feel like something could go, you know, go off of your, you know, your gut feeling. Hold on to it while you're looking. It's okay to look. You can look at the state sales. They, you know, they're not. It's not new for them. They don't think that you're crazy because you're a reseller. They, they, they appreciate the business regardless. You know, so that's definitely a good tip. Um, another good tip is to be courteous. There is one time when you. We're first in line and oh somebody, yeah, that yeah. Was, that'd be a great story. Yeah. The time we camped out, we stayed there all night and yeah. um almost like six hours in the yeah, car. Yeah, we the six hours. It was worth it, yeah. It Trust was so me, that worth was it. really worth it. And um the people start showing up and started sitting up for the estate sale. Some guy who runs out of nowhere and shows up and asks for a the, ticket the and gets the ticket. first ticket. And we were literally in front of the house. And I'm like, I get up there and I'm just like I go over there and I'm like, hey, you know, we were here first. And they're like, oh, we don't do markers. Yeah. Um, he got the ticket. The guy was awesome. He came to me and he's like, hey. He's like, you, that's your car. He's like, I know you've been out here. You know, you were here already before I was. He's like, you want, I'll go ahead and, you know, I'll trade you, you know. He's like, you're one, you're two, I'm three. And we're like, wow. He was really nice. You know, we went in first, right? We go straight. I had, I, she already did I comps already my based on the pictures. We knew what we were going for. Mm -hmm. And I, there was a camera. I really wanted a Canon camera. And I, I, I was the first one, and I go in there, and I put my hand on the camera, and so does he. I look back, same guy who gave me the ticket, who was like, you know, really cool, and I was like, you know what? Take the camera. I'm yeah. Like, Don't even worry about it. Take the camera. At the end of the day, it's... And his face, he was just so, he's like, I literally came for this camera only. He's like, thank you so much. And just like, that feeling made me like, it's all worth it. You know, at the end of the day, as long as you do good, good things come back. Mm -hmm. You know, we're so one, first place in line. Yeah, we try really hard not to let money be the only thing that we see because at the end of the day you know what we leave behind isn't going to be money it's going to be how we are a legacy people. and you know and how we were as people and how as nice family, we were and you know? how positive we were and that's what we try to do so do you uh, what do you like do you think this is really cool the fact that like you can teach your little ones kind of the value of buying something selling something making money like not only the value of like you know living and and you know, here's the thing. Here's my point. Like, for a very long time, 
I didn't know that this world existed. Like I would buy this t-shirt brand new when I could have bought the t-shirt for the same price somewhere else, or excuse me, uh, a lot cheaper somewhere else like eBay or different sites like that. So I think it's really cool as resellers, we can teach our kids like, you don't necessarily have to buy retail. You can save your money and, uh, and buy somewhere else that same item, a little bit more affordable and just the value of a dollar. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. I think that's really important. That's actually paid off. We went to Knott's and took my, my, my eight-year-old. He really wanted this plush doll, and I'm just like, it was like 17 or like 20 bucks. It was like 20 bucks for and a little, I like. I scanned it. It was $3, mm -hmm. and I ordered it immediately, and I got there like a week. I'm like, look, like this, and he's, after that, he's like, he doesn't want to go to GameStop no more. Yeah. He's asking me to check Amazon and eBay mm -hmm. for a certain thing. <laughs> so it's awesome. Yeah, they're definitely learning. Um, we used to pay retail, like now, like, yeah, we're back, like, like you. We had no the money we spent, like we pay retail, like it's it's wow, yeah. <laughs> never again. Yeah, so, we pay those who do pay. <laughs> oh, yeah. and I I I think that's really really cool. I I just think that you know teaching your kids like the value of of like saving money is it's really cool, especially now. Like things are getting expensive, and imagine what's gonna be like in fifteen years. So, um, so. What are your plans for 2018? Like, I already told you, I already asked about fourth quarter, but like, are you looking like what's if you can give a percentage pie graph of like Amazon, eBay, Macari, Poshmark? I know you're cross posting, but what rank it from like one to four? What's your most important platforms? I think I love, I love, we love eBay because we started off on eBay. Um, we are the most uh, knowledgeable when it comes to eBay of all the platforms. We want to expand on our Amazon. We haven't gotten there yet just because, you know, it's easy to get, you know, on the YouTube and, and hearing people talk <laughs> about all the positives and all the negatives and it scares you a little bit and, you know, you're kind of nervous to dive in on that. But Amazon. should I send this $300 camera to yeah. Amazon? And I'm risk them down. And then risk them <laughs> saying, oh, you know, it, it, it never showed up. You know, but... You know, we're working, scare money we're doesn't make money, so we're getting there. Yeah, for 2018, we definitely want to send out yeah. our first FBA. Um, it's going to be books, so we're going to definitely yeah, – we're gearing we'll up. Okay we're stacking them up right now. <laughs> nice. And we, Sarah says, you guys are an amazing couple. That's what Sarah said just now. Um, and if you guys have questions, believe me, they, they are a fun group to follow. Um, all right, so – Tell me a little bit about like how social media has changed your reselling game. Like I asked this question because I really like to know like what does social media mean to you guys? Like what made you start Instagram? What's making you start YouTube? Like how are you benefiting from having social media in your reselling journey? The reseller community, that's what I love about it. There's enough for everyone to eat. Mm -hmm. And people, nobody will tell you exactly what they're selling, but they, people are very helpful. You ask a question there's nobody because they, they've been there they've mm -hmm. they've been there they've been coming up they've been trying to do it just like you're doing it now and they're willing to help out and we've met a lot we've met you we met a lot of awesome people mm -hmm. on ig on just, just in general on social media but not just that i mean you really have to understand that in order to fully understand this business you need to talk to like-minded people so when we talk to the majority of people and they look at us like we're crazy because we're trying to make this a job we're trying to really push this as a full-time thing so it's nice to be able to reach out to people who understand and you know they may not give us the exact details but they're more than happy to talk with us about this kind of thing and it doesn't bore them it doesn't seem like something that's unobtainable it's realistic for them the yeah. same way we're trying to make it realistic for us and I think that's really important if you're trying to be a reseller you social media is not just social media like you think of teenagers getting on snapchat no, social media is a way of networking. It's the same way a CEO will talk to another CEO so they can get insight as to how a company runs and how they can build and grow. It's the same thing. You treat this business like a business and it will become a business. Do we have a mic? Do we have a mic drop? Drop the mic, man. Just drop it. <laughs> Gosh, you guys, you two are lucky. Man, um, you guys are lucky you found each other. You guys compliment each other really well. So... Networking, I think, is key, right? And you kind of touched on it. Like, what kind of stuff are you doing to network with um, estate sales or thrift stores or people that work there? Like, do you just, you know, are, are you, do you have a business card or do you just kind of like try to, you know, be as courteous and nice to them? 
Yeah, we, we make sure we leave an everlasting impression. Mm-hmm. Taking the kids really helps with that uh, tremendously. Because like, he's so cute. Blah, blah, blah. Well, his name's Lorenzo. I'm Will. This is Jenny. Yeah. You know? And then we always sign up for the email. That's the first thing. Like, yeah, when you go to the state sale, they'll have, usually, it's interesting, usually they'll have a paper and pen, a notebook that you literally will jot down your email address. And then they'll add you to the mailing address. Yeah, so good. if it doesn't come up, if it's a private estate sale, mm-hmm. or they're doing like a really quick thing, they'll send you an email and yeah. you're already there. And, and then the next time you go to one of their famous estate sales, remind them a little bit. You know, say, hey, I came to your last estate sale. Like, for example, the Albert Einstein estate sale that we went to where they just had not like nothing but Albert Einstein. I told you know that same guy the next time I was like, oh my god, I was like, I love your estate sales. And you came to your last one with the Albert Einstein. He's like, oh, he's like, you did look familiar. And then you start building those connections, you know, in, in, in a natural way. You don't ever want to be presumptuous. You don't ever want to be over the top. You just yeah. want to be real with it, you yep. know. Um, so first and foremost, you guys, uh, you guys accomplished something that's never been done on Wade's Ventures YouTube channel in I think sixty-three interviews. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> this is the first, but I just noticed it. My mom finally said something in chat for the first time in 60 videos. Mom Adventures! Oh. Wow, that's incredible. You guys have so much fun working together. Do you find it hard to stop and do other things for fun? That was her question. There's times okay. I've had to remind myself because I'm just like, we'll grab a big load of stuff and then our haul is so amazing. To be honest, reselling, there's never downtime. Yeah. Really. There's always something that needs to be done. I quit my 40 hour job a week to mm-hmm. work 100 plus hours, but, yeah, but always we do, a smile on. <laughs> we do schedule it in. Like we have um, his son, we have him maybe like two, three times a month yeah. for a good amount of time. So we got NOS passes and we'll take the day off and we'll go, go with to the kids. Park. And you know we'll we'll spend the day there. Well, we got the pass for Knox because it's it's relatively inexpensive, and you can make a whole day out of it. And we do try to do the family time. And you know we have our. It's hard sometimes, though. It is hard. It's really hard. It is hard, but we do. And then it's nice that we have our neighbors here because like they come and we do like the cooking thing, and we're trying to do like you know we try to make <laughs> moments. Uh, I I would be like, oh, come on over like every single night. You know, I'd even buy the like the the food. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's really, it's, it's networking. I mean, it's amazing. It's fun. Um, it's fun talking with you guys because honestly, I can sit here and do nothing and uh, answer, ask a few questions and you guys take over and I love it. Um, and honestly, I, I wanted to know like, so one, one of the questions that I, I, I ask basically is like, is there re- other um youtubers or instagrammers that you guys like watching um because we're free on this channel like i love people um you know i love asking this question because see when i first started i found chris and a few other people but then like i found one person which led to another person like there was never a good um source of a bunch of people that i can reach out to that or follow or watch so what are some people that you guys enjoy watching on instagram and or youtube well, we love watching your channel. We yeah. watch it all the time. It's hard for me to get a live, to get on a live one, but we'll always catch it like a couple yeah. hours later. We'll we love Rally Roots. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ryan we and Allie are awesome. We still relate a lot. Yeah, yeah like, we love seeing the couple thing. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be more in front of the camera, but I tend to be more <laughs> behind the camera. But I know that I've talked to a lot of people. They want to see um, family, so we like we like to try and see a lot of family. Chris, channel. Daily Refinement's awesome. He's really good, too. Um, I love Pete. I st- Pete was like the first one I saw, Craigslist Hunter. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so we watch him. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's, what, who else do we have? No, yeah. Yeah, we only have time for a few we, it's, Yeah, it's, it's limited. We kind of rotate <laughs> through a little bit, yeah. yeah. No, you picked a good group. Like, I was, uh, you know, like, uh, Ryan and Allie, they're amazing. Pete, um, I was... I was blessed to, to have him make me an admin on his chat, and I do nothing on there besides block one person every time he goes live. So, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, he's he's amazing. I love him for hard goods too. Yeah. Um, all right, so we have question. Let me know what your question is below, though, and I can. Now, do we have a haul today? Oh my gosh, Pac Man, you're keeping me you're keeping me on my toes, guys. Okay, bail me out here. Bail me out. 
I made a couple of interviews and I completely spaced the haul we do at the end where you guys have four or five items. Do you guys have a few items that you've thrifted recently? We can do a quick haul. She is saving me. She is saving me. I cannot put haul in the title without some items. That's awesome. Um, so what, what, um, like, what do you guys do for fun? Like uh, you said you go to knots, right? Like what, what do you guys do for just you and the wife? Like, do you guys go out to dinner? Do you guys have date nights? Like how do you, <laughs> you dumpster diving? Right? We love to dumpster diving. diving? So, yeah. <laughs> honestly, we consider those, what's really funny is that we're really nitty gritty. Like our dates, uh, we've gone to junkyards, like looking for certain parts for our car. And we make like the most fun of it. Like we have so much fun doing these, things that couples are like, really, the junkyard? And we're like, we have a backpack full of tools, and we're like, we're out there, we're grinding, we're doing this, you know? We love doing stuff like that. But yeah, we'll go to dinner, we'll go to the movies and stuff, but it's if we're not, if we have a chance to not, you know, grandma's watching the kids, um, yeah, we'll go we'll have some sushi or something like that. But most of the time, the nitty-gritty stuff, we'll, we'll do something adventure or something fun. Um, we like to go hiking. I like to go off-roading. I'm a forerunner and stuff like that. So that's always fun. Nice. Um, Ash is a pretty much 95% flipping daily. She's doing a lot better. Um, a lot better. She's, uh, she's getting, she's getting better for Vegas. Um, do you, uh, real quick, I, I didn't ask you this, but do you have any like apps that you use or websites that you use just, like as a whole for your phone business that you enjoy? I'm sorry, as a whole for what? Like, do you, do you, is there any apps that you prefer? Like, I know you got the uh, the state sell website that we use, but is there any like apps or websites that you use for your reselling? Yes, definitely. So um, first one is estatesales.net. It's a really, really awesome. Gives you the map. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Gives you the map and it tells you where everything's at. Um, I think it's by region. I'm pretty sure it's like a West Coast thing. Um, there might be an East Coast one, but I know estatesales.net over here is gold. Um, we do the garage sale app as well. This one's really cool. And then um, this one it will break it down. I think it pulls from like Craigslist and stuff. And then the yard sale treasure map. This is another really good one as well. Um, if it's like skimming and we don't really have that much yard sales to go to, we'll check Craigslist. Sometimes on offer up in the free section, um, we'll check there and stuff like that. But yeah, estatesales.net, the yard sale app, yard sale treasure map, and the garage sale app are our, our go to. I've been sourcing on offer up recently. Um, I'll go on there and I'll find stuff locally that I, I can flip. Um, we, yesterday we rented out a U-Haul truck and went to go pick up a bunch of furniture. And, um, when we were out there, we were like probably about a hundred miles away from home. So we started looking on the offer up free section and picked up a bunch of free stuff that we could flip. So that works out. Really oh, nice. guys, nuggets, nuggets. Seriously. we have not heard that on the show yet before. Um, that is really cool. I it's, it's, you know, go to these apps and there's a lot like, um, it's been a while since I did that, but there was an, uh, stuff that she really likes. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's, let, without further ado, let, let's get in with this haul video guys. Go ahead. Let, I see. Ne is that Nemo? I don't know. <laughs> it's the fish from, 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 from the Simpsons. From the Simpsons. From the lake. You that know Mr. Him. Burns, Mr. Burns, um, contaminated the lake. Now, so we got a three-eyed fish. The other day you had a woman on your show who was like totally like all about flush. And I was uh -huh. like, oh my God, oh my God, I was so intrigued. I really <laughs> like flush too. She loves flush. Um, it's been a little bit of a growing pain because with flush you kind of learn like a certain weight in certain dimensions. So <laughs> they may feel like they're worth a lot, but when it comes out of shipping, then you're like, oh, well, at least you break even sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> but I got this guy only because he needs just a little cleaning, but he was only 50 cents. I think wow. he's for this guy. And I know I can at least, well, obviously more than double my money. But I know I can get a good amount of money for him, especially when I look at the comps. You get uh, these kind of random stuff, and sometimes for 50 cents, I just pick it up. She's more of like the purses and stuff. Yeah. This was a buck. It goes for 50 bucks. And it's new. It's new with tags. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome for a dollar. I'm more of the. I love cameras in high school. I try to find your Nishika in the wheel. The Nishika. I, I, it's, it's, it's already, already packed away, huh? Yeah. I have we. Um, on that already, I'm not sure so. if. Uh, <laughs> I'm like that's packed away. <laughs> yeah, we tend to as soon as we're done with our inventory, we try and 
uh, package it up and we throw it into one of our bins and that's it. It's ready. It's not going to be pulled out pretty much until it's going to go to a Yeah, shop. I sold two, Nish uh, two Nishika cameras I have on auction right now. Immediately after posting it, someone bid it on it. So once it's bid, I, I start packaging it like yeah. it's ready to go. Um, and then all, all I need to do is we slap pride it ourselves on, it. on fast shipping. It's probably 90% of what our feedback is. It's our lightning fast shipping. And Which, I don't know yeah. if you've seen our logo, but he's got a little lightning bolt because it's really, it's what we like. I know people, I know personally, I love when I order something and it gets there quickly. That's why a lot of people love Amazon. They we're love not Amazon prime. We're not prime, but we're, we're, we're prime. We're fast. No, baby, we're prime. <laughs> we're prime. We're prime. <laughs> we're, we're prime. Uh, yeah. do you, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we have some questions here. I, sure. First and foremost, I couldn't get rid of that fish with the. I put it on the bed. It would look really interesting on your guys. Oh, bed. Awesome! I love the I Simpsons. Know. I grew up on it's that. So cool. Like, it's, it's so huge. I love it. I love it. He, he's uh. It's really they have a loyal following. The Simpsons. Yes. Um, what kind of what kind of bag is that? One bag. The the one you showed us. The Disney bag. The exact. Maker is um. It says Disney in it. Yeah, it's Disney, but her name is uh, Danielle Nicole, and this is actually from a collection. Yeah, I and believe. it has like the zippers have the plastic on it. They never used it, mm -hmm. and when I picked it up, it was so quick. It looked like Chewbacca, and I was like, "Ooh!" I was like, "You take a dollar for this?" She's like, "Yeah." And then when I gave it to her, she's like, "It's Beast from Beauty and the Beast." Mm -hmm. We checked comps, and it was like forty-five, fifty bucks. We're like, "Wow!" Like, yeah. Oh, pretty awesome. You want to get? <laughs> that looks like me after a few weeks. I uh, I don't know. I I think I would have. I would have. I know. I I know. Hundred percent. I would have passed that up. Um, not knowing, you know, like fifty bucks. Like I would. I would grab that all day long. But I would have no idea. I I mean, that would look like to me like something that came out of Target or something. I don't know. Um, but it's crazy. That's why I love these halls because like everybody shows different stuff. You know, you learn so much. Um, and there's a lot of stuff too. Like when I first started doing storage units, I know I donated that was worth a lot of money. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh it's yeah. It's tedious, but it's definitely worth looking up. I think back at the yard sales that I had as a child growing up, my mom had yard sales and I'm just like, I sold my M64. Like I was like, yeah. why will like, you know, then again, we all paid retail too. So yeah. it's just, it's, it's growing pains, you know, yeah, you learn. with You're time, living and, living and learn. <laughs> what we can do is just pass it down to our kids. Yeah. Do you guys do, um, you said that you like auctions and that's interesting. Are you like, tell us a little bit about that process. Every Sunday you list and put it on auction. Or are you also doing best offers as well? Oh yeah. It's a mix. Um, I feel like, our store really wakes up on Sundays. Mm -hmm. uh, eBay, just something about Sundays. We get a lot. Monday morning, we have so many orders. You know, we ship it out at night, obviously. We have so yeah. many things we're shipping out on Mondays. But yeah, Sundays, religiously, um, I, I'll i start the draft a couple of days before. And then we were going to do like the whole, um, they list it for you at 3 o'clock, but they charge you for that. So we're like, we're trying to save money wherever we can. I'll just remember, I'll set my timer on my phone. Mm -hmm. At 3 o'clock, they go live. And between 3 and like 8 p.m., things are just going live constantly. Yeah, but we tend to use it on items that we are not like 100% sure on what we're gonna get, or we think they'll get a really good amount. We just don't want it to be sitting there forever. So, you know, sometimes we'll put it up there and we'll just let the, we'll let the crowd go. Yeah. You know, we use a lot of um, buy now for just our, our, our standard items that we find. You know, they have like a decent amount of people already selling, so we'll put those on there. We always, always, always put best offer. Love um, that. Even Love if we won't take, offers. even yeah. yeah, even if we don't take the offers, we still put it because it's a trigger for eBay. eBay is all about schematics and algorithms, and so any type of activity that goes on in your store it promotes it. You know, it's always a good thing. So, so um, real quick on the best offers, you. Let's say you have a fifty dollar item. I send you an offer for ten bucks. What would you guys do? Do you guys send a message back, or do you just counter? Uh, no, we always send a message always. back. We even had a happy face. Mm -hmm. We're like, hey, thanks so much for your offer. Uh, Let's do such yeah. And the such. lowest we can do and still include free shipping because we do free shipping and we do free returns on clothing. Anything light, we'll do free returns. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm scared of the big items. I'm just like, no, like you pay for this shipping. Bro. We can't afford it yet. <laughs> we but can't afford it yet. We will. Yeah, we will. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll let message them back. Thanks so much for your offer. Um, the lowest we could take uh, and still include free shipping would be like 45 or whatever. Yeah. It's a $50 item. 
Um, and then I can have it out for you within the next hour, or I can have it out to you right now in the morning. Morning, um, let it, us know if that works. It works. It, I've seen people like, yeah, it worked. They'll just buy it. I'm just like, wow. And if we'll they don't, an it's still positive. End. Yeah, we'll add an emoji at the end. Or I, oh, sometimes I'll let it still make me an offer. And I'm just like, really, dude? Like, five bucks? I'm just like, oh, and I'll let it sit there and somebody will buy it full price. Yeah. I feel like it trigger. kick-started the algorithm and my, it boosted my, my listing. Yeah. And someone just bought it from under you. Thanks for offering me five bucks. Yeah. So, so you do have two days to respond to offers. So like sometimes if it's an offer, especially if we've been going back and forth and we just keep lowballing, yeah. we'll let it sit for like a couple, like a day, and then by the next day, then we'll respond just so that they can we, we have that still going, yeah. but they can kind of get like, hey, you know what? We're not like we're not entertaining it anymore. And we don't respond thing. immediately. Um, we yeah. don't want to seem desperate, like oh, we'll take, and then be like oh, they'll take anything. Yeah. Um, so we'll let it sit a little bit. And sometimes that happens. Somebody somebody else will buy it, yeah. or they'll buy it straight up. We're a lot quicker yeah. to respond if it's. If it's fair, if it's like right there within reach of what we're wanting, yeah, you know, we usually we'll price it a little bit higher to leave that room for negotiation. What do you? I, I think it's really cool too because I've been experimenting. Like, tell me what you guys think. But I used to do 100% buy it now, and now what I'm doing is I'm doing like 10 to 15 items a week on auction to get like activity, um, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so I I sold some. Uh, you guys are gonna laugh, but I sold some beanie babies. Um, Ooh, those are good. We have, yeah. we have some clown ones. Yeah, they we sell. Have, yeah, we have certain things we pick up. Some yeah. beanie babies we venture you guys, so yeah. we'll pick them up. Awesome, congrats. Yeah. <laughs> what do What do people say when they see a a handsome handsome man like yourself? You know, pick up like beanie babies and and women's clothes and. The, so, funny part, the, the funny part is when they see me in the shoes in the in the girl suit. Like today, we went to Burlington. We got a bunch of stuff, and these ladies see me, and I'm over here like looking for you know Nike, or looking for the cool hands. I'm just like looking around. They're like looking at me like like I can have daughters. I have yeah. a wife. You know. Well, like, we've had plenty of stories. We've gone to do RA, and we're like, babe. I think my family in Mexico would love this. Yeah. We should get a couple, though. I don't want them to fight over the same shirt. Let's get a couple of them so that they can, you know. Yeah. I think my field German would love this shirt, <laughs> you know. Or or we have plenty of friends. Oh, you know what? Will this fit so-and-so? Yeah, when we are in, we don't like to say because we're at a store. Uh, yeah. we, I was actually at a, at a Tommy Hilfiger store in Las Vegas one time with my nephew, and uh, we got mm -hmm. so much of the same stuff to kick this out. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so we don't like to – I don't – at stores, I'm not like, hey, I'm trying to resell yeah. this. Not when it comes to stores. Yeah, it doesn't happen like that. Um, that hasn't happened over here to us. Um, but yeah, so. So that does happen. But at yard sales, we'll always have something. Or, you know, if it's something like really weird that, you know, you don't typically look like you'd be picking up, we have a friend that might pick it up. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. oh, you know what? Let me text my friend to see if they have this. I know they collect this, you know, this toy. <laughs> and then we'll, instead of be texting, we'll be looking it up on eBay. Hey, then I gotta be like, oh, so there's little, little tricks. So real quick, everybody that's in chat, is there anybody from um, Southern California in their area? I'm really curious. Let's link up. Uh, we're in LA area, right, Riverside, we're, we're Riverside right now. We just moved to Riverside. Yes, I I, I bet there, there's gotta be some people in California there. Um, do you, okay, when you do auctions, do you start something above 99 cents? Um, like how do, how do, tell us how like how you do your auctions like um I I you said that you do buy it now with the auction right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no no buy it now we don't do it with the auction uh we just it's just an it's auction, a auction a seven day auction uh but what we do a lot of times always uh, in, we always charge shipping for our auctions for our auctions we do we charge then, shipping I think we have two types huh? we have the one the auction that we know is gonna sell really well and then we have the auctions that we put we up don't know. because no well we have the auctions <laughs> that we put up that. You know, it's a slow item. We really haven't sold it. Those we'll typically put for 99 cents plus the shipping because at that point, usually we'll have already made our money back on whatever the situation was. But we just kind of want to get our inventory moving out. But he's really good at his auctions of things that we know are going to be really Cameras and stuff, vintage cameras. Um, those I kind of know where to start them off at. To at a good on. price to intrigue people. Yeah. You know, and then a lot of times cents, so. eBay will let you know. Um, items that sold similar like this were started at an auction price, this price or whatever, I'll go a little bit lower than that or yeah. I'll go in between or whatever. But usually when I go lower, like I'll have an, I'll have a bid the same day. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling him, like, I really think that when it comes to auctions, if you price it at a price where it's below like the minimum, 
you'll get more bids. And when you have more bids, you have more investment. So if somebody is bidding on something that's worth a hundred dollars and they're bidding on it for $50, they're going to bid on it multiple, multiple, multiple times. By the time they get to a hundred dollars, they're so invested. They're willing to go over that price because they spent all this time putting in all these bids against other people. We, you get bid with that bug and you yeah. just want to keep bidding. You, you just know? want to win it. It has to happen. What like happened that? about that camera that we sold pre-owned? I sold a vintage camera. I got it for I got it for two bucks. Yes. Uh, a Nashika 3D camera. And um, we threw it up on bid. A brand new one on eBay was two hundred dollars free shipping. And I had a used one and it went up. It went to two hundred four plus shipping. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you could have bought a brand new one. Right. So now. sometimes you get bid with that bug and I think they just keep going and yeah. that's a bit more, you know. People are competitive. Yeah. Uh, and I, the one thing I like about auctions is like, it's almost like you're getting sales constantly. You know, you hear that sound. <laughs> and, uh, it's crazy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, all right. So that answers that. Well, guys, um, I want to, I want to leave, you know, this interview with one last or two last questions. One, um, you, you told us a lot of nuggets, guys. Um, but is there anything else that you can think of that in the broader spectrum of things that would help somebody with their reselling that has helped you guys? Like any tips, tricks, hacks that we have not discussed yet? Yeah, I have one. Um, it's more on a mental note. Like, Don't worry about what people think, what people say. If your family is like, oh, maybe you should. Don't ever worry about that stuff. Focus on your end game. Yeah. Get that tunnel vision for your end game, for what it is that you want to accomplish, what you want to do, the legacy you want to leave behind, and the naysayers will just kind of vanish. And then you'll, by the time you realize that you're there, you're where you want to be. So stay positive, stay focused, and the world is it's kind of like race horses. They have the they have those blinders for a reason because if you take any second to look to the side to see what people sure. are saying, you're gonna trip, you're gonna fall, you're gonna stumble, you're gonna keep yourself from going forward. That's definitely a good one. Push forward. Mm -hmm. Always, always. Push for, and oh, man, you guys, that was that was so amazing. And and my last question is, is do you have do you have any words of wisdom? And I almost feel like that could have been for the, the, the last question. Uh, but I'm gonna have to ask anyways, because we always leave on a on a on a kind note. But by the way, guys, thank you so much for everybody that's in chat. Um, like I said, this is a historic moment because mom, it was the first time ever said something in chat so mom thank you so much for that you did it on a perfect interview um but i'm gonna leave this off with words of wisdom from both of you guys like give us that because you guys are so you guys are so positive you're having so much fun out there i feel like you have something good um so give us give us something positive um don't knock the hustle there's always somebody working harder and somebody not working hard enough and what you're doing is enough for you and if it's not only you can work harder. Just work. Work as much as you feel at the end of the day, you can go to bed with a, a sigh of relief. Yeah, <laughs> knowing that you put in the work. Don't don't let, you know, if you're lagging it, don't let that put you in a bad mood. Do something. Just even if it's something little, just keep going. Keep going. That's that's main key. Keep going. So we have um, how do you find these amazing interviews? Thanks for introducing us to this awesome couple. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And and mom says, love this cute, fun family. Wow. So, that sounds like something she would say. Um, and then uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, Wade. Appreciate it, Rita. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Um, like I said, real quick, can you tell everybody where you they can find you? And and if you're watching this after the fact, you'll notice I put their YouTube channel in the description and in the comments. So click, subscribe, support them. I guarantee you once we get them to 100 followers, they can start going live on their phone on um, on some of these estate sales and different things they're doing. And you guys are going to want to follow them because California is exciting for reselling in general. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, guys, um, make sure you hit the like button so that way more people in the YouTube world can discover this couple. And I appreciate everybody that joined today. Thank you so much for, for coming along. And you guys have been an amazing couple, an amazing family to come on here. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. It was awesome. Yeah, definitely. We're going to be working on our first video. We're going to drop that pretty soon on the YouTube channel. And then we are on Instagram. We do, we take you in depth to all the estate sales. Yep. You get to our see stories us. Our stories is where our main in, in the nitty gritty. So follow us at Thrifting Nomads on IG.
And um, yeah, thanks guys. We appreciate Thank the you. interview, Wade. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be putting them, uh, I'm gonna be shouting them out on Instagram, guys. So if you need to follow them, just stay tuned here very shortly. Thanks guys. Have an awesome day and I will go live in Vegas. Wish me luck. Wish we'll me luck. We'll see you there. <laughs>